This is the highest honour we have in our industry, whether it's about cooking, pastry or service. I think once you actually have this, it is something that you can wear with pride and honour. It's also something that we can actually look to our younger generation to show them what standards we have today so that we actually move forward and create a better level of cooking and service throughout in the next generation. We've been very privileged to be asked by the Royal Academy of Culinary Arts to have a look at the Master of Culinary Arts competition. I say competition, but the people here are competing against themselves for the very highest marks they can get. They're all professionals, they're all well known in the trade, they're all very, very competent chefs. But let's see how they do, and I have nothing but admiration for this team. They've worked so hard, I'm hoping they all get through. Let's go have a look. This is such an important event and such an important competition that it's, it's an honour for me to be here. And I suppose in a little way I represent our part of the north of England. Um, and I think the, uh, you know, keeping some of the skills of old and bringing and merging in the new is a really important thing. And I think that's what this competition in particular does that no other can do. Right, they've got two tasks. They have a turbot dish, they've got to serve whole. It, it, there's a, a, a mousseline that needs to be placed in the centre. The, the turbot must be poached whole and they must serve that with three garnishes. One must be a, uh, sort of a, a potato based garnish. And then they have a saddle of venison also with uh, potato garnish and two other garnishes, which makes, which makes it three. It's a completely free interpretation. What we're looking for today is their skill, ability, knowledge, things that they've developed, the skills they've developed over the years, and to want to place that on a flat for us to look at and to, for them to really just say, look how good I am, and look, I'm a master and a craftsman and what, and what I do. But it's also about actually having MCA people judging one another. It is a tremendous amount of pressure for them to, to actually do what they're trying to achieve. Um, you know, they've had, a, they've had a couple of months preparing themselves today, and do you know what, no matter how much preparation you put in place, it can all fall at the last hurdle. In the kitchen, you've got the chefs and the invigilators. The people that are judging the food here are not allowed to know the people, they just know it as a number, and that's the fairest way. Right. Yeah, they've got six and a half hours, uh, but where it really goes wrong for most of them is that it's the service time because they've got to get that dish out on a flat, hot and beautifully presented. Very long, exhausting day, but was well worth it. It's pride and it's, it's something I want to achieve. You know, the MCA is massive and it's, it's a great achievement um, and it's something I've always wanted to do. It's a very unique opportunity to do, do this MCA and you can test yourself and see where you stand up. So. It's my second time, so four years ago I, I, I had a go and uh, unfortunately we opened the restaurant two days before the final, so I didn't really get my practice in, so uh, I'm really happy with what I did, I'm very, uh, very hopeful. So everyone's on the same level playing field, everyone's using the same stock, everyone's using the same main ingredients, so it's good to see what other people are coming up with and seeing what's going to be different. Six hours sounds like a long time, but it really isn't, so every little ingredient has to be measured out to save you 30 seconds. I just do it because it was a great opportunity to do it. So it's been it's a scheme of every four years. So I just think I can give it a go in the first round and I've been selected for the final. So that was a great, great achievement for me. For me, the MCA is the epitome really. It's the only, well not the only, but it's certainly one of the only competitions that really stands for something, in my view. I just think it's, it's a, it's a mark of whether you've got the right culinary skill or not, you know, and you either achieve that level or you don't. So you're only really competing against yourself. Um, so I guess that's why I did it, really. Just prove something to myself more than anything, or not. Yeah, it was high pressure because obviously, you know, it's, um, it's every four years. You want to give it your best shot. You don't want to come back in four years' time. But well, I don't want to come back in four years' time to do it. So you've got to give, give it all you've got, obviously. So, yeah, a lot of pressure involved. But um, I thought I coped pretty well in the end. So. There's a tremendous strain on them, but that's because they want to get it right. And you have to feel a little bit of um, pain for them. Uh, there's nothing worse than putting yourself under pressure and making something like this. It's a tough task there. They shouldn't be worrying about us. We want them to do well.